Hi guys, it's Jonathan Otto here, and I am really excited to share with you an important update on the King's Ransom project, Shut Down Starvation. This has been nothing short of amazing. The response of you people like you that have been listening at home, that have given generously to this campaign, have forever changed the lives of thousands upon thousands of people. The people of Africa, particularly areas in Kenya, like Turkana in the regions that we're in, there are people facing the threat of starvation due to the COVID lockdowns. Many, many people are going without food with these businesses shutting down. The World Health Organization is estimating that 270 million people will die of starvation. And here in these communities, we're seeing this very thing happen. The response has been spectacular. And I want to show you so you can see with your own eyes where the money has gone. Many people ask the question, does the money actually get there? Well, this is real on the ground footage that has happened over the past few months. And this is the result of this campaign shut down starvation, successfully reached the lives of well over 144,000 people. We have done beyond what we were hoping to do, beyond expectations. And I'm thrilled about that because that's real people that needed help desperately. We went into many different regions. And as you can see here in this video, you can see that people were overjoyed for the hope that we brought with this. Emergency food for people that felt like they'd been left to starve, to die. There were many of which had reported to us that they were resorting to eating leaves and, and roots from trees to stay alive. And then many people as well, not only getting emergency food, but tools for farming like uh, hoes, machetes, and shovels. And with these tools and seeds, watermelon seeds, cassava root, and, and various different sweet potato, uh, drought resistant crops that we were able to help these people with so that they could get food, not just for now, but food for the future, so that they could find themselves being able to avoid these situations and through wealth creation, through enterprise, being able to sell watermelons, We've seen lives change, and so I want you to see this. Check this out. Look at the lives change. Look at what has been the result of the generosity of many hearts. This war is not over. We're still fighting this good fight, but I want to just take a moment to celebrate and to say thank you because I'm truly grateful. This has been one of the most rewarding projects of my entire life. I just spoke to my dear friend William on the ground. I've had uh, members of, of the team from the U.S., fly out to see this and witness it, to record for accountability and for verification, for the donors being able to see lifetime what's going on. I was touched to, to see the magnitude of this situation. He referred to it as uh, like putting out a fire that's in front of you and then be behind you there's another fire that catches a blaze and we felt like this for many years and it's I think it's similar to when people talk about the starfish all washed up on the shore and men picking one up at a time throwing them in and, and, and it's this countless starfish on the shore and somebody says to him how do you expect to make a difference here look at how many starfish there are and then he picks up a starfish and throws it in to the ocean he said it made it made a difference for that starfish and i think that that that's really what william was expressing to me which which was like resonating with me and certainly um the, you know this amazing volunteer and worker on the ground was expressing what it's like to have such a burden on our hearts as we see and witness these things in the bible it says the poor you'll always have with you so there will be fires for us to put out but we must celebrate the things that have been done that have made a difference and changed the lives of over 144,000 people. So I'm so grateful to you, so grateful for this project, I'm so grateful to King's Ransom. Thank you so much.